Hello world, how's it going? Time for another TOT. And for those who are wondering what a TOT is, that's uh, this old tank. So let's head upstairs and uh, this is what it looked like seven years ago. I actually put my mascara barbs in here. So that tells you how old my mascara barbs are in my one big tank that you guys watch on my Friday night live stream. But I did have these Winnie Miller Eye breed out in there in between as well. One of the coolest, most beautiful fish I've put in there. And I do have videos here if you YouTube search LRB Aquatics Geofagus should pop up. Let's check out this 125 gallon high that's in our bedroom. It's uh, 26 inches high. It's 5 foot long and 18 inches deep. Really, really cool tank. Absolutely love this tank. One of my favorites in the fish room because it's just so odd and different and just watching all the behaviors of what's in here is really neat so we'll get into it share all that with you guys but real quick uh you see here i don't have the water level up all the way is mainly because of these rope fish since i don't have a lid on it i like to keep my tanks open air um so since i don't have a lid on it they could end up jumping out if the water level is too high but i've never had an issue with it at this height i would say I don't know probably about eight inches seven inches eight inches but I absolutely love how this balance say crimp here flows in with these rope fish as they just weave in and out of it they'll hang on top of it and these guys are so personable I absolutely love rope fish big shout out to oddball aquatics for getting me into rope fish I don't know if I would say I would have never gotten into them but definitely, definitely influenced me into doing so. I mean, how cool are those? Look how they just slink around everywhere. Just float like little water dragons. And I got a jumbo betta. That's from my uh, buddy Ben. He gave that to me at the last Aquashella. And you see tons of pandagaras here playing everywhere. Oh, yeah, that was cool, right? Coming out of that bulbitis. I, I love the pandagara and rope fish mix. Like, they'll sit around, they'll eat together, they'll play together. And then that bulbitis, that's just like a hut for these guys. And there's actually a ton of shrimp, so right by his tail, you see. So itty bitty 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 shrimp. Oh, there's another one. They're all over the place in here. But it is colonized with shrimp. They live in here with them. Naturally established. Well, besides me putting them in there, but I mean, it's, they've been in there for years. And some random rainbows. We've got dwarf neons. I'm not sure what that is. I think that might be a sicuensis. And then, as I mentioned, the balance crip is the plant. This is Marcellia minuta on the bottom. And once again, the Bulbidus hutilati. But uh, let's go ahead and feed these guys, get them a little more active. You know, them pandagaras are searching. See them on the hunt. All right, busting out the old tried and true tropical granules. Come on back, buddy. I'm feeding you. You just missed it. You like to feed across the tank. Rainbows, they don't take no time. They're already all over it. But I do like to feed across the tank. That way, food will get down here for the shrimp. I mean, there's nowhere that food's going to sit that something's not going to get to it. Whether it be the pandagars, the rope fish, or the shrimp. I should just be quiet and play music to this. What do you guys think? Should I keep rambling or put play music? I think I'll play the music. We'll go around this tank a little bit.
Now, as far as the water parameters on this tank, we are sitting at 237. So, I mean, it's a little over neutral. So it's not real hard, but it's a little hard. And as far as the temperature, we are at 77 degrees. And I've got a simple shop light. I think I got that one from Walmart. And then one of these aqua neats. It's kind of dimmed out. Seems to be enough for these plants. These plants don't really require too much. I could sit around and watch the rope fish all day long, let alone these pandagaras. These things are so cool. I mean, just look at that. Dun, 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 dun. And I do got a little cave build back here too. So those rope, oh, well, you can see the rope fish actually sitting there. No, I didn't even see them. Camouflage pretty well, but there is a cave back there that they actually den in and hide in it. Are these guys breeding in here? What are you doing in this tunnel? Either looking for food or breeding. Kicking up all that mall, hard to tell. You see how clear the water stays too, even though they kick up a lot of stuff between the rope fish and the pinagaras, a lot gets kicked up. But it usually settles after feeding time, but it has no airline, no filter, just mother nature in a box. I hope you guys are enjoying this old tank series. And if you guys are, hit that like button. That'd be awesome. Hit that subscribe button. Should have more coming out of these TOTs because there's a lot of tanks here to do them on. And yeah, I appreciate you all watching. And thank you, thank you all so much. Until next time, everybody, peace. Have a great one.